Starting at the end of the cable, unwrap the jacket until you get to the square cut, then tear. Fold the neutral wires back or handle according to manufacturer's instructions. Make a mark on the cable at the defined dimension. Install the spring clamp, butt it up against your mark. Make a ring cut with your knife, being sure to only score the semicon and not cut all the way through the semicon layer. Try to make a clean square cut. A knife cut that's too deep at the semicon cutback cannot be sanded out later on and it will cause a failure. Make multiple longitudinal scores from the ring cut to the end of the cable. The harder the semicon is to remove, the more longitudinal scores you should make. Again, these are scores, which go about 80% through the material. They are not cut all the way through. Peel the scored semicon from the end of the cable back to the square cut with needle nose pliers or the SC13 Semicon Roller Grip from Speed Systems. When you get the Semicon back to the square cut, peel off at an angle to avoid lifting the Semicon layer. Inspect the insulation and feel for knife cuts. Minor nicks along the interface may be lightly sanded with a non-conductive abrasive cloth. Make a mark on the cable at the defined dimension. Hold the cable in one hand and press the lever on the banana peeler. Place the cutting blade at the desired depth, which should be less than 90% of the semicon thickness. The spring-loaded jaws will close on your mark, and the blade will penetrate the semicon layer. Rotate the tool around the cable to make a 360-degree square cut. Remove the tool from the cable. Turn the tool 90 degrees and align the blade with the square cut. Once the blade penetrates the semicon layer, draw the tool lengthwise off the end of the cable. Repeat this procedure until you have the desired amount of longitudinal scores. The harder the semicon is to remove, the more longitudinal scores you should make. Peel the scored semicon from the end of the cable back to the square cut with needle nose pliers. When you get the semicon back to the square cut, peel off on an angle to avoid lifting the semicon layer.
inspect the insulation and feel for knife cuts. Minor nicks along the interface may be lightly sanded with a non-conductive abrasive cloth. Make a mark on the cable at the defined dimension. To assist in ease of operation of the tool, a thin coating of silicone grease or talcum powder can be applied to the surface area being removed. Set the blade on the Speed System 1700 series Semicon scorer to the correct depth on a piece of scrap cable first before applying the tool on the actual cable to be used. Adjust the dial left or right to lower or retract the blade. Each number on the dial indicates thousandths of an inch. Set the tool blade to score less than 90% of the way through the Semicon material so you do not cut into the insulation underneath. Set the blade lever to square cut, left position. Open the jaws of the tool wider than the diameter of the cable by turning the knob. Position the tool on the cable with the arrow toward the cable end with the blade aligned perfectly with your mark. Turn the knob until the tool fits snugly on the cable and the knob turns freely without tension. Rotate the tool counterclockwise at least one turn to complete your square cut. Slide the blade lever to spiral cut right and continue rotating the tool counterclockwise ensuring that you are heading toward the end of the cable. When you get to the end of the cable, remove the tool and locate the final cut on the semicon. Pry up the end of the semicon with the SC13 semicon roller grip. Spiral back to the ring cut. Peeling off at an angle to avoid lifting the semicon. Make a mark on the insulation at the proper dimension. Install the spring clamp aligned with your mark. Make a ring cut less than 90% through the insulation using the spring clamp as a guide. Be certain not to cut all the way through the insulation as you can damage the conductor below. Broken conductor strands will reduce ampacity, which will lead to overheating and failure. Make two longitudinal cuts, one half inch apart, less than 90% through the insulation. Pry up the one half inch piece and remove. Roll the remaining insulation off, being careful not to damage the conductor strands. <laughs>